at the end of the hallway here would be a good place for a you know some type of woodworking project and I always like dragonflies so I think I'm going to draw out and then uh, you know an intarsia woodworking dragonfly uh, for those of you who don't know intarsia it's a uh, it's a scroll saw or bandsaw technique in which essentially puzzle pieces you put together you take a drawing uh, you segregate it out into little sections and separate it out round over the edges put it back together and uh, well let me show you what I do here All right, so I think I'm going to uh, sketch out this dragonfly here I kind of got a basic idea of what I want to do All right, now that I've got this uh, kind of basic drawn out, and as I cut it, if I want to alter this slightly, I can certainly do that. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out in, uh, in a few segments. Let's start with uh, this. So here we have, it. we have four wing segments. We've got the uh, the thorax and the head, and then the uh, the main body there. Now that is my layout, and now I'm going to try to find some wood that's going to uh, that's going to fit these. So I uh, have a place down the road that throws out old pallets. So I've got this pallet wood that I I've all cut down and I ran through the service planner. I think these are going to be just about right for the size of a wing. One right there. Okay, now these I'm going to try to use a different wood. It doesn't matter if it's darker or not because I can stain it. But let me see what I got for these ones here. All right, so I got that all laid out. All right, I had to glue them up. I like to throw down a little piece of paper here. There's some just uh, 3M spray adhesive. Okay, so normally I would cut all of this on the scroll saw, but I've got a thin blade in the band saw. I think it's going to work pretty well. Pretty soft wood. Now that we've got the basic wing shaped, each part of these we're going to separate out, and that's where they See, now you see it, see it all laid out there. I've got each part, and now what I can do is I'll take off the paper and I'll round over these edges. And uh, let me take you to the next process here. All right, now normally I would, uh, well, first we peel these off. And normally I would round these over. I would either round them over with a uh, rotary tool, like a Dremel tool of some sort. and. Uh, I would usually use that to round it over, but these are bigger enough pieces that I think I'm going to be able to round them over with the... Uh... Alright, so I've got all the pieces rounded over and now basically we just put it back together. And there we go. Let's see everything's kind of rounded over and it looks nice. And uh, 
I think this will make a good wing and now we just got four more to do. Wing number two. Wing three. Wing number four. All right, I got the head. So uh, the body section I think is a little too detailed to use on the bandsaw, so I, I got out the old scroll saw and uh, set it up with a, just a, a basic blade. I think I'll make those cuts here. It'll just make things a little bit easier. And let's go and round over all these edges. Again, it's the puzzle that's sort of disassembled, round them all over together, and it'll have some structure to it. So, but anyways, that's the next step. I'm going to round them over, and I'll probably go right to the drum mold to do that. All right, there's the body. And there is the tail. Now that we've got all parts together, we've got the, the head, the thorax, the tail, and the four things, we can start... There we go, there we go. What we're going to start doing is we're going to disassemble them and actually start gluing them together. We're going to put them together like a piece, like a uh, puzzle, and then we're going to start gluing them together. Once this is all done, uh, I think I may stain this, at least this section here. Uh, you know, I kind of like the wood grain. You know, it's, it's just artistic, the way you like it. Okay, so my technique is this. I use... CA or cyanic acrylate glue uh, and I also use an accelerator just makes things a whole e easier it sets up instead. I start with uh, get a little bit on there. There we go. I spray it with the activator just where I want to have it. Make sure it's level, put it down Hold one, two, three, and I'm ready for the next section. Now, just like a puzzle, I'm going to probably put a little bit more here. I don't really need much of this, it's so powerful. Spray it with the activator. Put it together like a puzzle. Give it one, two, three, there we go. On to the next section. See, so I got all of the parts and segments to the tail put together. And uh, the backs are kind of rough, so what I do is, is I just actually turn on them. I just lightly give it a little leveling off there. You don't want to be too rough to pull them apart. So with that CA glue, which is probably going to be pretty strong anyways. Uh, I will do all of the edges, but I'll wait and do that on the Oculus Trimble thing. Okay, so now I've got these down to the pieces all pre-glued together, ready to decide what I want to do with with the uh, staining, these will all go together here, and then we'll back them with some type of backer board, um, some Luan or something that isn't as important. So let me do the, uh, we'll do the, the thorax first here. Okay, 
Okay, before I do the wings, the edges are pretty rough from the old uh, bandsaw. So I think the oscillating spindle sander is a good way of just cleaning up those edges there. Alright, well there it is all uh, stained and laid out. Um, now I just have to individually uh, glue these together and then I will put a Luan backer board. Alright, so I think I'm going to glue these all up here, these individual parts. Okay, there it is all glued up here. It's all one piece. And now what we'll do is we're going to lay that down on the, the backer board. Alright, so I got the uh, backer board all cut and ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it right underneath the, the dragonfly here. Sit underneath it. I cut it just shy of the, the actual size. Be careful with it because these wings are gentle. Once it backs on there, it should be a whole lot better. Well, those are all the weights and clamps and everything is squeezing down on that backer board and dry up and hopefully it will uh, it'll be ready for finishing. Well, I made a slight design change with the leftover Luan. I cut out this uh, the circle and I think I'm going to mount it so that when it hangs on the wall I can have it sort of at an angle a little bit. And then I just figured I would use my spray lacquer and finish it before I mount it. Okay, now that it's uh, pretty much set up, I'm going to just tack it into place. I got some little quarter inch pins here. Uh, and I think I'm going to just tack it into place here. I'm going to hit it with some So this is the point of my project in which all I need to do is uh, spray on uh, lacquer, the clear lacquer, and then uh, mount it to the board. But actually what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop. I'm actually going to go ahead and clean down the entire shop, put everything away, um, because you know it kicks up sawdust and when you're doing that spray lacquer you want to have a nice clean environment. So before uh, I do all of that, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Clean down everything, give it a once over, and then I'll be on my final stage of the uh, of the project. All right, and I'm down to my last coat of uh, clear lacquer. It's a nice light coat in, and I will mount the the uh, dragonfly to the uh, to the base there, and I'm getting ready to hang it. And uh, while I've got it upside down, I might as well put the little, I use a little sawtooth hanger there. And there she is, hung up on the wall, looking so nice. Uh, some people say it's a uh, dragonfly, I think it's super fly, but anyways, thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, hopefully you'll try some Intarsia, come up with your own ideas. There's lots of books and things online with patterns you can buy. But uh, coming up from scratch, coming up with your own idea, um, is sort of part of the fun of it. Um, but yeah, give it a try. This is uh, done with just real basic, um, you know, domestic wood. You can certainly change this out to exotic hardwoods and and work with the uh, the wood grain so that it'll go with the uh, the wings. But uh, this is a budget version. I think the whole project cost me about six bucks. Thanks for watching, and uh, just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to hit that 400 mark, and. Uh, and uh, you have yourself a great day, and thanks for watching. See you again.